Hi everybody, this is Mumbles, and today we're going to look at the Flick Game Game Maker. This is a very interesting game dev tool in the sense that anyone can make a game with this. It is sort of like MS Paint mixed with slides. <laughs> is the best way to, to describe this. So first I wanted to show you the itch page for it. There are lots of games made with this engine. I saw one that was a Mario funeral where you walk around the funeral and talk to all of the different people that Mario knew and loved in his life. And they all talk about how sad they are that Mario is dead. But we're actually gonna look at this Animal Crossing one. I think this is the best way to explain how the Flick Game engine works. And I know it sounds simple, like, <laughs> it's not, it's so funny saying the Flick Game Engine. It's, it's not like Frost Engine or something. <laughs> this is much simpler, much nicer. Anyone can use it. As you can see with the Animal Crossing game, you can click on different things in this area and something different will happen. If you click on the tree, the little oranges come down. If you click on the... The, I want to say gravestone, I know that's not what it is, little hole in the ground, then a fossil comes out. If you click on the butterfly, you catch the butterfly. And you might be thinking to yourself, how do they do this? And like I said, it's MS Paint with slideshows is the best way to describe it. So I thought that I would, I'm making a game with it right now just for fun. And I thought I would take you along the first part of making this game and kind of explain an easy way for you to also make a game that is not going to be too difficult for you or ask a lot of you. If you're like me, you don't necessarily have a big art background or anything like that. Maybe you took a couple art classes. So the basics is you really want to have references, even when you're using a very simple kind of painting tool like this. The easiest way to make something look convincing is to have a reference. So I decided that I wanted to make a game based off of baking a cake. And the idea is if you put in wrong ingredients, then you lose the game and you have to start over. And so I decided that the funniest thing would be if you're making a box cake because they're the simplest cake you could possibly make. So what I did is I Googled box cake mix box hacks because I knew that people take a lot of these cake mixes and they do weird stuff with them like they'll put soda in them <laughs> I'm not kidding or they'll elevate them using buttercream or things like that so sure enough I found a web page that had a picture of all of the ingredients they would need and a regular cake box mix thing you might think that if you buy a box cake you can just put it into the oven and it will make a cake. That is not the case. You have to use other ingredients. <laughs> so I went ahead and I sort of built this table. I made eggs. I kind of experimented with how I wanted the butter to look. I made the actual cake box, which was the funnest part because you can add some yellow in there to make it interesting. And then I added some oil. So the traditional way to make a box cake is to use oil. And so this is kind of where the fun part begins. If you pick a color, you can decide what slide takes you to that color. And it doesn't have to be for each page. So for example, on page one, if red is gonna take me to page two, on page two, red is not gonna take me to page two. You, red can take you nowhere on page two. So each page has its own variable. So that means you have six, only 16 pages just to kind of mess around with, but you can really change up a lot of how you want this to roll. And the best ones that I've personally seen are the ones that are rooms. So basically you, like the, the Mario funeral one that I keep referencing, <laughs> you can move through the funeral house to talk to people and you can go back into other rooms you can go outside all of this stuff so I kind of that was how I originally kind of planned it and then I decided it would be more fun 
if I'm kind of playing around with perspective and moving things around. So what I decided is if you click on red, that's the only option. You can't click on anything else yet. So if you click on red, you go to page two. Then on page two, I looked up a reference of what the back of a Duncan Hines box might look like. And as you can see, they really try to illustrate what it is you're supposed to be doing. They want you to succeed. They do not want you to call into customer support and be like, hey, I didn't make a box cake because I forgot to put in eggs because you didn't put the eggs big enough. Or I forgot to preheat the oven because you didn't put the preheat oven big enough. So I decided to make it feel like the back of the box is real close to you so you can see some of the different steps. And I thought, this is a good time to start introducing the weird stuff. <laughs> so what I've done is I've actually added a squid at the bottom. If you click on this squid, it's game over. You're no longer making a regular cake. You are making a cake with a squid. And if you click on the black area, that's going to take you to the next step. And the next step is going to be preheat your oven. <laughs> So first let's 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 do the real step, you know, let's follow the right step. And that right step is to preheat the oven. So what I've done is I've googled what a oven looks like. And I know it sounds silly, right? Like everyone knows what an oven looks like. Trust me, it's just easier to draw in this <laughs> if you have a reference. And if you don't have two monitors like I do, you can put it on your phone and just prop it up next to your computer so you can quickly look at it. Trust me, even though this is a silly little game engine and we're just drawing on MS Paint, it really makes a big difference and it makes you go a lot faster. So anyway, I decided I really liked the one where her hand is like pointing towards the oven. And then I decided that red is going to be to the next frame. So we're going to build that all out later. I decided I'm not going to do the whole game with you. Uh, I just wanted to show you the mechanics so maybe you'd be interested in also making a game with Flick Game. So from there, I drew him all up. I kind of got the colors right. I enjoyed making the hand. I think you were going to really enjoy just drawing in this. It's very fun. It reminds me a lot of just being a kid where you're just willing to just draw something and it doesn't need to be perfect. And as long as it's telling the viewer what it is, it's great. And I've actually seen flick games that don't necessarily follow any rules. I saw a really beautiful one that was just different abstract arts. And she was just going through a museum looking at different abstract arts. So there's lots of different things you can do. Anyway, so now we're going to do the game over screen. <laughs> That is the squid. I realized that I didn't want to kill a squid, even though one would think if you're going to bake a cake with a squid, you're going to have to kill it. I decided instead, if you decide to click on the squid, he's going to eat your cake. And that is just what's going to happen because I, even though I don't think squids are very nice animals, I didn't want to kill a squid in my game. So we are drawing a little squid. This was really fun. I pulled up some references for squids as well. I think the best part of a squid, of course, is the like triangle head and he's got his arms wrapped around the cake and he's going to eat your cake. I think that when I end up finishing this game, if you get to an end screen, if you click anywhere, then it's going to take you back to one. And you can, for these colors, all of them, if you click on every single one of these colors and put one, that means wherever someone clicks on the screen, it's going to take them back to the first screen. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then that way people can just keep playing instead of having to restart the browser. So now I think we can go ahead and export it and just play it as it is. So if you play the game, we've got this the things needed to make a cake. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the box. The box tells us, oh... You gotta, you gotta preheat the oven or you can put in a squid. If you click on the squid, it takes you to the game over screen. Like I said, I'm going to have it, um, loop back if you click on it again, but I haven't installed that yet. I haven't installed that yet. I haven't programmed that yet. <laughs> Look at me programming stuff. <laughs> it's, it is technically programming. So we're going to keep that, we're going to keep that word. <laughs> 
And so I've got the game over screen with the squid. And then if I go back and I click on the dark one, then I get the oven and then I can progress the game. So I'm going to keep making this game. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned yet in this video, but I do have an itch. I've made three Bitsy games. I'm really into making these little games that don't require a lot of programming. Um, when I first started making Bitsy game, people were like, oh, I'll teach you how to program and blah, blah, blah. And maybe that'll be me in a little bit, but right now I'm sort of learning about Ren RenPy, which is a visual novel engine. I'm learning about Bitsy. I'm learning about Flick Game. There's a lot of great options for you if you're like me and you don't know how to program and you don't know how to draw. <laughs> and so if you're interested, please go check out my Bitsy games that I've made. My most recent one is Unfinished Business. My favorite one is probably Office Duck Deserves a Nap. Um, and my first one is the One Egg, which is, it's weird. It feels like that was so long ago, but that was just this summer. And I'll be putting this on my itch as well. So go ahead and follow me on there. Just in case Twitter dies, uh, you can always find me on YouTube, of course, but it would be helpful if you followed my itch if you wanted to play my little games that I make, because that's all I do. I just, I make cute little games now, as well as videos. <laughs> so I I really love this game engine. I think you should try making a flick game if you just want to be creative for a couple hours and put something on the internet for other people to enjoy. I really recommend it. So anyway... I will update everyone once the game is finished, and then you can learn how to make a normal cake. Well, you batter bake a normal cake. That's it. Okay, thanks. Bye.